your phone is a Wi-Fi hotspot. Have you ever been someplace, you know, you've, you've schlepped your laptop to, uh, to the park and you wanted, some, you wanted to be out in nature and do some work on your laptop while you're in the park and there's no Wi-Fi in the park? Well, but your phone, if your phone has a good cellular connection, you can turn it into a Wi-Fi hotspot. And, and here are the instructions, so that's all you really need. On the iPhone, you just tap on settings and personal hotspot and allow others to join. Now you can, you can set a, wifi, a password, that's so that people nearby won't be using your connection. But as long as you just have allow others to join, then my iPhone's hotspot will be available to my computer. On Android, you also go to settings and connections and mobile hotspot and tethering and turn on mobile hotspot. Now, to just show you how that works, I'm gonna to go to my computer. In the very lower right-hand corner, you have your Wi-Fi. If you click on the Wi-Fi, you click on the little arrow next to the Wi-Fi symbol, and it will show me Mrs. Geek. That's the name of my Android Wi-Fi hotspot and iPhone. So you could be out in the woods with no Wi-Fi around. As long as your phone has a connection, it can be shared as a Wi-Fi hotspot to your computer. Now, at, when we were RVers, we used that a lot. Really don't use it too much anymore, but it dawns on me that there's a lot of people that don't know that it exists and it can be very handy when there's no Wi-Fi around. Does using your phone as a hotspot use data? Absolutely. Yeah, take a, take a close look at this, this slide. It's your cellular is going into your phone. It's converting it to Wi-Fi that goes out and is then used by your computer or your tablets. Yes, indeed, you are using your data plan from your cell provider when your phone is a hotspot.